So it's about 6.30 in the morning. <clears throat> we have a snow day, or there's an ice storm coming in. So I have some time, and I'm going to ferment my veggies. And I know, <clears throat> Christy, you wanted to know exactly how I made mine. And since you can't be here, um, I thought, well, I can just document it this way. Uh, I'm probably going to ferment the veggies tomorrow, but I can get this done a day ahead and then everything's not so overwhelming because I like my sauerkraut or fermented veggies um, chopped a little bigger. I don't like them finely. I think they get a little mushy in the food processor, but that's just personal preference. Since I hand chop mine, I can do all the cabbage a day ahead and then tomorrow I can put it all together and I do the carrots and the onions in the food processor that's fine um, so I thought we could do it this way so you can follow along I am so thankful for this new knife that Tristan got me it's sharper than anything I have and it makes things a lot easier. What I'll do is I'll chop up <clears throat> two large heads of green cabbage and a medium to large head of red cabbage. That's just the mix that I like visually. It, it's really pretty. Um, and then I put it into this 20 quart uh, plastic bin that I keep just for, for this purpose. It just makes things easier to mix when I have to um, kind of mush the veggies by hand uh, and of course I'll get to that point tomorrow but here I am chopping away uh, this is about the size of, of the pieces that I like and you've had my fermented veggies so you know but if you prefer doing it in a food processor I know Tristan does uh, and it certainly made it easier for Wesley before he had many teeth to eat it so again as I said it's just personal preference but um, as I go along I'll just show you my progress <laughs> 